on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the New York Knicks. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Fournier out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the five spot. And for the Warriors. Guard pair on the floor, it's Curry and Thompson. Looney out there with Kaminga. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward. Get ready, folks. These two teams love pushing the ball. Greg, we could see a track meet tonight. Two of the top fast break teams in the league, Kevin. As far as keys, limiting turnovers is going to be big because they each want to get out and run when they get the chance. Now, here's Fournier. Pass to Barrett. Just five to shoot. Takes it from 10, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. R.J. Barrett continuing to find consistency by not settling for things that come his way. He's got to stay within the confines of what they want to do offensively so that his game is growing. First free throw is good. Well, there's no doubt that R.J. Barrett is a hard-working player and looking for chances to stay and get involved. He does a lot for his team out there on the floor. And so Barrett nails both of them. Barrett's attitude, Brent, has helped him find early success in this league. And R.J., only the eighth player to record 2,000 points... 500 rebounds and 300 assists all by the tender age of 21. You almost forget how young he is, but he has made an impact here. The putback. Knicks with the rebound. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. We talk about gutsy wins and on a night like that in the last game where they just did not shoot it well. That's a, a steal during a regular season. Here's Curry. The Knicks making the shot. Passes it to Wiggins. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson finds Curry. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And Klay Thompson hits from deep. Well, for poster guys, it's usually dunks. But I, I wouldn't mind a Clay Thompson jump shot poster to look at on a nightly basis. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now here's Curry. 23 points for him the last game against the Suns in Phoenix. It's good on the putback. Kind of a simple job for Looney out there, but he's willing to do it. Gets into the middle and fights for that board. Pass to Robinson. Kicks to Fournier. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Green, and it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way.
Randall finds Robinson. And here's Brunson. And there's the pass to Robinson. Back to Brunson. Robinson down low. Defended by Looney. Six on the shot clock. Here's Randall. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randall is a southpaw. Left-handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. We operate a little differently. And I think that can throw defenders off. So I'm always going to pull for the southpaw. First one drops. And Greg, starting your career with the Knicks, what's the pressure like playing in New York City? I tell you, the amount of media following you, the, the size of the city, it can be intimidating. But if you win, man, there's nothing like playing in New York. All free throws, good from Randall. And while it's still very early in the season, the top teams, Greg, have already started to distinguish themselves across the NBA. Getting off to a hot start, always a good sign. But, but don't sleep on the teams that are still getting locked in. A lot can change in the coming months. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Thompson against Fournier. It's Barrett on the wing. Trains it from beyond the arc. Barrett's got five points so far. Could be top ten easiest assists that Fournier's had. Curry with it. Out of ended by Randall. There's Kuminga. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Fournier's shot is off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Thompson. Randall with the block. Uh, no, sir. Randall up there says, uh-uh. Green passes to Thompson. It's three-pointers off the mark. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Brunson kicks to Barrett. The feed to Fournier. Shoots over Curry. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Golden State's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. That's a great pass from Draymond Green. Just understands where his guys are going to be. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Now here's Brunson. 14 points from him the last game against Denver. Fournier, that's for two. Gets a very good look and converts. The Warriors trailing. Curry with it. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. Kaminga down low. Garrett covering. Thompson for three. And it's Thompson again missing. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Now Barrett coming off a solid outing against Denver. Outside Fournier. That's all you. And here's Barrett. Back to Fournier. Just five on the clock. Here's Randall Green with the block. And Green plays with tremendous edge on the defensive end of the floor. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Thompson against Brunson. Thompson dishes to Curry. 
Back to Thompson. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Thompson's got a couple of threes now in the first of the Warriors. Outside Fournier. Randall outside. New York moving the ball around. Shoots over Kaminga. Randall can't get that one to fall. The Warriors lead it. Outside Curry. Pass to Kaminga. To the inside. Here's Looney. A special move before the shot. Devon Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Knicks trail by three. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Pools checked in for Clay Thompson. The Knicks also changing it up. Hartenstein's checked in for Robinson. Quickly comes in for Evan Fournier. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Now, here's Barrett. He has five. Back to Quickly. Passes it to Rose. Got a piece of it. Green deciding where to go with it. Pass to Poole. Outside curve. The pass to Kaminga. Now here's Poole. Over Rose. Here's Looney. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Julius Randle picks one up. Well, the defender was all over Kevon Looney, and he got physical right back. That's a nice play. And, you know, one of the unsung heroes of the Warriors championship team, Kevon Looney. Well, totally understands his role, and a rotation guy who can start for you, but how much consistency did he provide in that 2022 season and championship run? This guy has battled some injuries, but he has always been reliable for the Warriors. First one falls for him. Just thinking aloud about the best teams of my lifetime, that 2017 Warriors are way up there. That first year, KD was with Golden State. Obi Toppin's checked in for Barrett. Good on both. And the title-winning 2017 Warriors, Brent Berry. What made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin. But to me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played with so much freedom and so much enjoyment. Uh, you don't see that all that often. And so the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character. That's what made it special. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. That'll be a five second call. and passes to Randall. Now, here's Quickly. Guarded by Kerr. Top of the key, Rose. Here's Quickly. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's to the... Curry against Rose. Curry dishes to Green. Back to Curry. A three. 
Hangs home the trifecta. Curry's got his second bucket tonight. And the right guy to finish the job. Curry. New York calls timeout. And it's been a rough stretch for the New York Knicks, a team that has only had a handful of playoff appearances in the last 20 years. Reddish, he's checked in for New York. Toppin kicks to Reddish. Back to Toppin. Pass to Reddish. They need this one. He lays it in. The Knicks are trying to get back to being competitive, GA, but it has been difficult, hasn't it? They haven't been able to attract top-level talent for quite some time, which is surprising when you consider this big market and, and the status this franchise has within the city. Green, the pass to Looney. Quickly against Poole. Makes it off the glass. And the Warriors lead by eight. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. Last game for the Warriors, it was a loss to Phoenix. Passes it to Reddish. Topping with it. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Now sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Curry looking it over. And Stephen Curry with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. James Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. Knicks trail by six. Pass to Hartenstein. Wiseman with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Now, here's Reddish, headed by Green. Poked away. Hartenstein can't get it to go. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And the Knicks with possession here. The Warriors making the shot. Rose kicks to Reddish. Shot clock at six. the pass to Hartenstein. Back to Reddish. Over Green. Here's Hartenstein. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. And it's Kaminga at the elbow to the paint shooting foul as the whistle blows he'll shoot two free throws well Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from usually it's from guys who scored a lot of points in the NBA but what he did defensively he can communicate that quite well Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Green's broadcasting has even helped his opponents in some cases. Yours probably has too, Kevin, in some instances. But with Draymond, I think what's cool is guys are listening. 
And when Draymond starts to talk about some of the techniques he uses or some of the things he's looking out for, uh, guys understand that that could improve their game. So why not take it from one of the best in the business? He hits the second from the line. And the fire that Draymond Green plays with, I think, is the most admirable quality. Knows how to get himself and his teammates going throughout the course of a long, grinding 82-game season. Pass to quickly. Here's Hartenstein. He feeds it to Rose. Shoots from eight. The shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough, but to get blown out like that? Yeah, that's a bit of a head-scratcher there. That was a case where every single thing that could have gone wrong for them, oh, it showed up. And talking about Dante DiVincenzo, a native of Delaware, that's a state that doesn't see many of their own go pro. Well, he has been a winner at every stop, Greg. In high school, back-to-back -back state championships in Delaware. And then he won two titles in college. He won a ring with the Bucks, And so the resume has a long list of titles with it. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. And DiVincenzo, I think, is starting to take a lot of pride in the fact that he could do a lot of little things for the basketball team that add up. He scores, he can get some rebounds and get some assists. He's a weapon. That one falls, so he hits both of them. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The most wins in the finals ever by a trio who each made an all NBA team. Here's Hartenstein. And Wiseman sends it back. And Wiseman using the length, swatting that one away. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The Warriors shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Free throw missing. And he sinks the second. It's tipped, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Well, somehow they kept possession of the ball after that poor pass. Uh, they should be very thankful that wasn't a turnover. And here's Rose outside. The pool contesting on that shot and becoming a better defender. That's the next step. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Warriors ahead, up by 10. And will return shortly. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and what's your take guys in the hustle stats for the Warriors I love the defensive concentration so far in this one they're getting out on shooters and really doing a great job of disrupting the rhythm Can you make the most of second chance opportunities and you're in there and active where that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense and New York Looking at who they've got. 
Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Brunson in at the point. Heisman no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. Well, Randall can get up there with the best of them. It's a quick move. Now, here's Poole. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Kept alive. A second chance effort. And Wiggins with the nice bucket inside. Wiggins has got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. The Knicks shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Here's Fournier. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's DiVincenzo. He gets that one. DiVincenzo's got five now. And DiVincenzo likes to get out into the open court to try to make something happen. with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball, but a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success? He says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. It's stolen by Green. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. And a little luck that time, but it drops. He's got seven. And Poole's vision developing right in front of us. And the Knicks with possession here. They trail by 14. And that game will be four out of five on the road for the team. To the left wing. And stolen by Wiggins. Down low. And Poole gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by 16. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Outside Fournier. Wild pass to Barrett. And he lays in the alley-oop. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or, or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Well, Brent, between major injuries and some high-profile roster turnover, it's been an up-and-down last couple years for the Warriors. Yeah, mostly due, Kevin, to injuries. I mean, through it all, they've managed to continue to play with joy. They've given a lot of guys opportunities to just be out there. And then they drafted and rebuilt the team behind the big three to complement those guys as they found their health. So the, the run is still there for Golden State to do great things. And uh, winning a championship last year has them back on the top of the mountain. The first one falls, and the Warriors with some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. Thompson comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Curry subbed in for Jordan Poole. And both free throws, good for Brunson. It seems like, Brent, it's been a long time we've been asking, could this be the year the Knicks turn it around? 
I, I think, Kevin, though, it's about not just turning it around. It's a, about being a viable, competitive, potential deep-run playoff team for many years in succession. And is this the time? I'm just not sure. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Right side, Robinson. Back to Brunson. Pass to Fournier. This one for three. They get a bet. Here's Randall. No good for the fifth time from the floor this game. He's made two shots. Well, his four shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Knicks trail by 14. Out to Barrett. Feeds it to Randall. That one's good. Just his third make. Brings him to three for eight in this game. So creative on offense. Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball and understanding where he can get to on specific possessions. Now here's Wiggins. 23 points for him the last game against Phoenix. I also thought he did a tremendous job in terms of timing in that game, swatting away some shots. Ended up with three blocks in that game. Clock is at three. Curry. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Curry's got seven points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Pass to Fournier for three. No good on that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. You know, some teams just have your number. And that was the case between these two last season. The vision Curry has on the floor. We've seen him put those goggles up from time to time. He easily spots a ready shooter that time. Brunson kicks to Barrett. Back to Brunson. He dishes it to Robinson. For three, Barrett. The Warriors pull it in. Outside Curry. And they'll get another chance. That's tough. Tough finish. Steph's not just a great shooter, but really great numbers through the years as being an elite finisher. So it's New York now. It's an 18-point game. Now Barrett. He has seven. And he makes good on the layup. Barrett's got four points in the quarter. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. Curry kicks to Green. A pass to Wiggins. Green breaking loose. Second chance shot. And that one's good. Wiggins. Six points for him. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Knicks trail by 18. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Robinson passes to Barrett. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. There's the drive. He kicks it to Kerr. Shoots over Brunson. Tries again. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And here's Barrett. 11 points in the game. Brunson finds Fournier. Lock at six. Back to Brunson. From downtown. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Thompson passes to Looney. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And Looney able to stick with it that time, even getting roughed up a bit. 
The Warriors have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. And the Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. And a new group in for the Knicks. Obi Toppin's checked in for Robinson. Reddish comes in for Julius Randle. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for Evan Fournier. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. On the free throw, no good. Here's some facts. You go back to 2000, and the Knicks have won just one playoff series. Total. One. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And the Knicks have struggled, Brent, over the last two decades. Why is that? Well, I think they've just struck out thinking that everybody wants to come and play in New York City. And when you find out that nobody wants to play in New York City... It's really hard to build a roster. They have not had a first All-NBA player since Patrick Ewing in the 90s. So there's been a big bite taken out of the Big Apple in terms of their competitiveness. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. Reddish the pass to Rhodes. Now Reddish covered by Wiggins. Reddish dishes to top it. Passes to Hartenstein. Here's Reddish. Shot clock reset for the Knicks. Three, three, three. Top of the key, Rose. New York needs to get off a shot. And the Knicks miss again. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Faster quickly. Back to Rose. The pass to Reddish. Here's Toppin. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. 2022 was a big season for Obi Toppin in his young career. Well, we saw him continue to improve as a player, but the big moment, obviously, was that dunk contest when, after being a runner-up the year before, he finally got to claim that trophy. free throw is good. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. He saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged, that's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. Here's Hartenstein following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Here's quickly. Count that one from Toppin. Toppin's got five points so far. Toppin not letting the defense hold him back. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That's foul number two for him. Different look here for the Warriors. Heisman's checked in for Kavon Looney. Raymond Green comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. And the Knicks making a change here as well. 
R.J. Barrett's checked in for Cameron Reddish. Rose against Poole. Rose in the post. Here's Hartenstein. Guarded by Poole. Hartenstein can't get it to go. Warriors leading by 21. Here's DiVincenzo. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And some shiftiness from Dante that time with the ball. 135 left to play in the first half. Bounce pass from Rose. Knocked away. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Here's quickly. A shot that time, not on target. Wiggins with some nice deep. Up top, DiVincenzo. Barrett covering, and Green gets it to go. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Rose kicks to quickly. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Barrett. 11 points in the game. Shot clock at five. On the wing quickly. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And he overshot that one. Missing. Warriors leading by 23. Now here's Poole. Six points for him. DiVincenzo hits the bucket. DiVincenzo's got eight here in the quarter. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive mate in the paint. And it's Rose with the ball for New York. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. <laughs> this is his first free throw of the game. Free throw drops for Rose. And you got to love watching Rose play the game. His intense style can be infectious out there. And I think it really does elevate his teammates. He hits both from the strike. Cool with it. He got it up. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Dante DiVincenzo. He's been the guy making things happen for the Golden State Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and we've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing through. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. So it's Golden State who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? They score very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. Shaq, what did you think about New York? They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they can pick themselves. They can say it. Giving up way too many easy runs. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. 
It's going to be a long ride home. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Nice game. Great performance by Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Warriors leading by 23. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Kaminga out there with Kavon Looney. And it's Curry in at the point guard. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Now here's Kaminga. Inside. It's stolen by Barrett. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. Of course the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. Higgins outside. Stolen by Brunson. Here's Robinson and the dunk by Robinson. And that's Mitchell Robinson's attitude. Anywhere around the rim, he's going to rock it. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That'll be his second foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Here's Thompson. Banked in off the glass. Thompson's got 10 points. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. For New York, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Curry against Brunson. Puts it up from 15. Offensive rebound. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mitchell Robinson is one of the best finishers that you have down low in the NBA. And I love watching Mitchell Robinson play. He brings a physicality to the center position with that 7-foot, 240-pound frame. down the first one and Brent about Mitchell Robinson he is fun to watch down low he's so dominant he uses that body to his advantage to gain position and right now he's at that time in his career where he's still sharing time and looking for a full-time starting role I think that's on the horizon Robinson hits them both and Greg in the era of positionless basketball Mitchell Robinson is an old school center isn't he yeah, I mean, during his first four years in the league, Robinson didn't attempt a single three. Ha has led the league in shooting percentage, so Mitchell knows his role. Now, here's Wiggins. Eight points for him. Here's Kaminga. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on R.J. Barrett. This is his first trip to the line tonight.
And the first one at the line is good. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. The shot by Curry, no good. The third quarter has not started well, just one of four. And no passes to Brunson. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Passes it to Looney. Back to Curry. Kicks it to Kaminga over Randall, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. New York has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Well, he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Takes it inside. Robinson with the block. Now the seven foot four wingspan of Robinson going to work on that shot swatted away. Barrett against Thompson. It's blocked. Higgins outside. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Here's Fournier. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Curry. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Here's Curry. He's got nine. Sinks the triple. Curry's got 12. And Curry kicking it up a notch right now, not slowing him down on offense. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Barrett against Wiggins. Six to shoot. Now Barrett, 11 points in the game. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Warriors leading by 23. And here is Curry. 12 points for him. Here's Wiggins. It's good. At that basket, he's now 5 for 9. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Here's Brunson. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Five to shoot. Randall. They grab their own miss. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. The coaching staff likes this. Mitchell Robinson down there and drawing fouls. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. No adjustments made by the other team. And... They couldn't defend against the speed of this group. They've been running over them in this one. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there. They've had active hands. They've been in great position. And they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. And that one falls for Robinson. You know, Mitchell Robinson has really simplified his game. He's just focused on getting high percentage looks, being around the rim, 
both for offense and obviously blocking shots and detour guys from scoring on the inside. He does those two things very well. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Reddish, he's checked in for New York. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Thompson for the triple. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Thompson's got 13. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Fournier finds Reddish. Some nice passing by New York here. Tipped away. It's stolen by Green. Here's Looney. It's in and he's a very efficient 5 for 6 in the game. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Pools checked in for Golden State. And a switcher also for New York. Rose is checked in. Now, here's Poole. Six points for him. And the three ball is good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Outside Rose. Brunson scanning the floor. Floats it up for Rose. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Curry with the three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds now in the game. And there's Derrick Rose on the assist from Reddish. And how about the airtime improvisation from Derrick Rose? Able to hang and finish with a defender looming. Higgins outside. Now the basket pool. Six on the shot clock. Green kicks to pool. The next pull it in. Randall's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul. Some changes for Golden State. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Kavon Looney. Green comes in for Wiggins, and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Curry. Then for the Knicks, Hartenstein's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall, and quickly in for Jalen Brunson. Now, here's Reddish. He's guarded close. Pool against Rose. Pass to Hartenstein. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Rose must continue to focus on his facilitating. When he does that, this is a dangerous team. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. And that one misses. Here's Golden State. They're on a 13-5 run. Pass to DiVincenzo. Now here's Wiseman quickly covering. And that's what the coaches right now want from Wiseman. Just effort points. Get in there and stay active. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Rose passes to Toppin. Here's quickly. Defended by DiVincenzo. Back to Toppin. Basket counts. Toppin's got seven. 
good job from top and just completing a play that time through contact. And Brent, unfortunately, the young career of James Wiseman has been plagued by injuries. Yeah, it's been really tough, Kevin, with that meniscus injury, 39 games into his career. He had his surgery, and then he was trying to come back, and multiple setbacks in his pathway to try to get back on the floor and become an impact player as the first overall pick a couple years ago. It kept him out the entirety of last season. Hopefully, this is the year where we see him fully healthy. The Warriors have converted 7 of 11 free throw attempts up to this point in the game. That's good from Green. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Rose bringing it up for New York. Passes it to Quickly. Back to Rose. Pass to Hartenstein. Outside Rose. Fires the three. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. Cool. And that one is hammered home. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. So it's the Knicks now. There's the pass to Reddish. There's the dish to top it. New York moving the ball around. He kicks to Reddish. Out to the wing. Just four to shoot. Warriors with the rebound. Weisman's got seven rebounds in the game. To the middle. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. It's tough because you want to bump Wiseman and you want to be physical, but he's long as well. And so that range, that helps him too. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Listen, 84 is a really good number to post at the foul line, and that's where he's at on the year. Free throw good from Weisman. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Reddish. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Green. Inside. And Green with the basket on the assist by Green. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Rose with the ball. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Dishes it to top it. Can they get it? Oh! And Toppin getting a little bit fancy with the throw down that time. And the burst of quickness on display with the mobile one drive. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Poole kicks to DiVincenzo. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, I guess when you're up this big, you can afford to get a little sloppy. 
New York's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Poole against Rose. Goes up on the wing. And it's quickly missing. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Over to the left wing. Reddish the pass to Hartenstein. Back to Reddish. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. It's three on three on the fast break. DiVincenzo against quickly. DiVincenzo can't hit it. The Knicks shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. And they recover it. Yeah, maybe a little luck. Maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And it's Green with the jam. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. The Knicks shooting, not looking uh, too good out there in the second half, right around 32%. Rose looking around. Shoots over Poole. Rose can't hit. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a major 39-point lead here at the end of the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Right back after this break. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Now the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. You've got Reddish. And it's Makai Luke in at the three spot. And it's good. Two points. Sims has got his first points of the night. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Jerome. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Uh, initials excluded. Uh, that might spark some creativity. Here's quickly the Warriors making the shot. Sims the pass to Grimes. Pass to Reddish. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. Kept alive by New York. The shot by Sims. No good. Here's DiVincenzo. There's the killer two-handed slam. DiVincenzo just one step ahead of the D that time. Now, quickly. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Here's Grimes. Off target with his three. And for the Warriors, they're shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Count that one. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior.
For New York, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. The pass to Sims. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by DiVincenzo. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Green. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Quickly with it, Eisman picks him up. And he set that dunk up brilliantly with the kickback pass. Sweet look on the run. These guys can be so dominant when they work together. Iguodala outside. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Sends with the rebound. For New York, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. There's the triple. Crimes with the bucket. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Here's Jerome. Quickly covering. Green left side. And he lays it straight in. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Pass to Grimes. Here's Mikhailu. Weisman with the rebound. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. They get it back. He Vincenzo. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Just five to shoot. Pass to Green. A three. He can't get it to go. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Here's Grimes. Pass to Sims. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. And he can't get the first one. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And the second free throw, good. The Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Jerome passes to Moody. It's stolen by Reddish. Here's the break. And there's the pass to Mikhailu. Here's Grimes. Shot clock at six. Back to Reddish. Fires the three. Weisman with the rebound. Weisman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. DiVincenzo passes to Weisman. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And Weisman showing off his power that time. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. The 
and good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half, doing a great job at the line. Quickly the pass to McKaylee. Back to quickly. Pass to Grimes. Here's McKaylee. Passes it to Grimes. And he lobs it up. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Pass to Moody. Iguodala outside. Eisman up top. Sims with the rebound. New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Mikhailu. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. throw good Moody and one difference this have is that when they get to the line they're converting and that's good as he hits both of his shots Brent with the way shooting has evolved do you think they might move the three-point line further out at some point I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I have heard some great ideas, and who knows? Shot by Grimes. No good. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Now, here's Moody. Here's Weizman. It's rebounded by New York. Sims has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Reddish. And the pass to McKaylee. And the rejection by Iguodala. Iguodala demonstrating his defensive prowess yet again. Superb reach on that block. Clock at four. Here's quickly. And again, it's the Knicks missing. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. The Knicks making a switch here. Hartenstein's checked in. Here's DiVincenzo. That one fall. Coming off Iguodala's feet. DiVincenzo's got six in the quarter. Here's quickly. Pass to Grind. Here's Hartenstein. He's covered by Wiseman. Now, here's quickly. Tight defense on him. Down to five on the shot clock. That one goes in. And that bump does not throw Cam Reddish off. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Jerome passes to DiVincenzo. Shoots from 12. Sims with the rebound. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Passes it to Wiseman. It's rebounded by New York. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. 
Now, here's Reddish. Not a lot of room, and the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. On defense, the Warriors. On the wing, quickly. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Andre Iguodala. One of the more striking things about Emmanuel Quickly is his ability to draw fouls and get to the line. That's pretty special for a young player, and he's automatic when he gets there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for quickly. And for a perimeter player to draw as many fouls as quickly. Uh, Brent, that's pretty impressive. Well, there's some ability in there for him as a passer, too. So he can find teammates. He'll drive into the lane. Just a matter of him recognizing when it's time for him and time for a teammate. And so he makes both from the line. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of the form. You're, you're on TV. you got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. New York shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Pass to Reddish. Here's Sims. He's covered by Igudala. Lock at six. Cloak loose. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Jerome. Quickly covering. Jerome passes to DiVincenzo. Here's Moody. Got a hand on it. And here's Reddish. The pass to Quickly. That one drops for him. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Here's Jerome. Pass to Iguodala. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Fires from deep. Sims with the rebound. Sims has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Passes to Grimes. Back to quickly. Some nice passing by New York here. Now here's Reddish. And there's the foul. It'll go on Moses Moody. That's his first foul. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review their own calls. It's a little like grading your own test. Maybe, Greg, give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk a confirmation bias, and, and everyone wants to be right. It, it does seem like some calls stand that probably could be reversed. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Here's quickly. That one, no good. Great D that time from Green. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Floats it up for Igudawa. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Warriors. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win a, a game that not many will soon forget and on the other side one that i think most will try to forget and so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year and with the win approaching they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone here's mikhailu 41 seconds left here in the fourth quarter Excellent D here by Igudala. 
they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. And he misses his first shot. Pass to Hartenstein. Boom! He jams it straight down. And, guys, he saw his chance to earn a little camera time there and took uh, it. Ah, rocking the rim with some major force. And typically, he is not the major force in that regard, but good enough to punish a soft defense on that play. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Stefan. People talk about winning games that you're supposed to win. What's the key to doing that? Just bring energy. Uh, we had to set the tone from an energy standpoint early, especially at home. And we did that. We played great defense. The ball was moving, uh, creating easy shots, and that's when we can kind of build momentum in. Yeah, you guys rode that wave all the way to the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.